you could say if, if did you get in music for drugs girls or money I guess if it was any of those things I would say girls but not in that context more like uh, the reason I started playing music was to help me accept myself and to feel a little more socially not give a fucky you fucky. know you know and then you know like after I stopped caring I accepted myself through uh, through music and just gained confidence you know girls came along and that was that was nice you know <laughs> let's go back to crack I like talking about that <laughs> Next question. <laughs>
sinking much too slow. Oh, you're sinking much too low. But I think it's time you go. Cellophane cigarettes, leather and snake. 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 set up in this living room and we started playing Tyler's like cops gonna show up like one song in and no, he called it he, he called did call it. it three songs in no he did actually say three songs <laughs> yeah he did say three songs in after like the third song halfway through the third song we saw this you know uh strobe light was pointed at us and <laughs> all right people are getting into it this is cool vibing you know and then uh we reached this point in the song we were playing, Not A Care In The World. And Wynn was going to do this vocal, and it was like, it was a, it was a, I think, Not A Care In The World, and yep. stops. Where I yell, oh shit, you know? And <laughs> Ironic. I, so the music stops, and I yell, oh shit. And then I, right after, I just hear this cop screaming, shut the fuck up, Jesus, <laughs> god damn it, like screaming He was at super us. pissed. And I open my eyes, and there's this cop with a flashlight in front of my face. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> he was pissed. He was pissed. <laughs>
one incident where we're playing up in this mountain called Darjeeling, and we're playing, and there's just hundreds of people just come up, and they're giving us food and gifts. They're just so moved, you know. And I'm like, this is what I want to do. So I get back, and I, Alex, our drummer now, is actually our drummer in social oddities for, like, about three months. So I hit him up, like, hey, man, let's start, start jamming again. Me and him, we've had a very long history. Um, we first inspired each other when he was in middle school. Uh, we had a little tiny project. And then we grew our separate ways for a couple of years, and we finally reunited, and we started jamming. I introduced Alex and Hunter together, and we all just started vibing really well. And then, uh, you know, one day I'm driving down the road. We're going to uh, just jam at this little venue, and I see Tyler from the, the old band, The Mayor's Wife, walking down the sidewalk. I'm like, no shit. He drove up on a stoplight, and I was like, oh, I went in. He's like, get in the car. And I was like, all right. So he gets in the car, and we go to this venue, and he watches us play. It's like a couple blocks away. I saw him play, and I was like, awesome. Uh, yeah, can we jam sometime? And you know, I let's, let's jam. I'll, I'll play bass. We're like, perfect. We would love a bassist. And uh, it just manifested perfectly. We all just had such great chemistry. The time he came was around the time we started plugging in. And it, it just all meshed really well together. Stick to your own company 